All right, guys, so today Eric and I are back at the auction. Eric has been going to the auctions without me lately in count of the puppy, uh, but I do go to the auction previews with him and we decide what we're interested in purchasing potentially and for how much and you know what we can make off of the items if we do win them for the prices that we choose to bid uh, so this auction particularly a lot of the stuff was going very very high price wise and i will let you know what some things sold for as i'm going through um I, like I said, was not there, but uh, Eric did let me know what some of the things sold for. We were interested in this Grim Reaper kind of like poison jar with these cups um, that did sell for over $400. So we did not get a chance to bid on it. Eric kind of wanted it to keep for himself, but um, yeah, it sold for too much. Um, but that's, you know, the name of the auction game. You never quite know, you know, what things are going to sell for and who is there to bid on, you know, the specific things. Um, in this cabinet here, I wasn't sure what those things were on that shelf. If you guys know, uh, let me know down in the comments. You know, sometimes when I go to auctions, I don't know everything that I'm looking at. A lot of it requires, you know, research and that kind of thing. A lot of the stuff in that cabinet was your cast iron pieces and pin pieces. They always tend to sell pretty high at the auction. I don't typically um, bid on those things. I don't do a whole lot of research on them only because I know how much they go for at, at the auction. But they are really cool pieces. Um, that one right there was like a street sweeper. I thought that was so cool looking. I had never seen anything quite like that before. So it is always though fun to just look at everything and you know, seeing things that you've never seen before. So there was a lot of Christmas related items you will see and a lot of these items also went for a lot <laughs> of money. Um, that red snowman that you see with that top hat sold for over $500 and those putts sheep with the boxes sold for around $200. So we didn't get either of those and those polychrome birds you saw in front of that snowman, um, those sold for around $220. This yellow santa you see at the end there sold for eight hundred dollars and that feather tree that eric is looking at i believe was the uh four hundred dollar feather tree is what that sold for um he was interested in the feather trees um, we kind of want to get one for ourselves but at those prices we just you know weren't weren't feeling that um, so I think all in all, we won just two of the Christmas items and even the ones that we won were um, pretty expensive. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there was a lot of people there looking, you know, for the Christmas items. This whole set went together, the bottle brush tree and the Santa and the putts sheep, and that sold for over $500 for all four of those pieces there. And these really weird Santa shaped ornaments, um, those sold for $100 for the pair. So yeah, there were a lot of people there, um, whether or not they were resellers or just Christmas collectors themselves, but they, you know, the prices for not just the Christmas stuff, like everything was going pretty high at the auction that day. So and then over here, just looking around, there were some really pretty quilts and blankets on this table. And I really liked this painting. I thought that was so cute with the little girl and her dog. Um, you know, I'm not sure how much everything sold for. I just only know a couple of things. Uh, this was like a plush monkey, I believe, potentially handmade. I wasn't sure what these things were. And I just love pick, like opening up like all of like the little chests and stuff at the auction. I can't help myself sometimes. I try not to like, you know, touch stuff too much because I am just, you know, not very graceful and I'm always scared of like, you know, dropping something, but I can't help to touch things every now and then. Um, that marshmallow tin that you 
see right there beside the chest of drawers that I'm opening right now that sold for a hundred dollars that was something else we were interested in at the time uh, there was a couple plushies I'm not quite sure you know if that's like a handmade piece or if that was potentially a stiff um, I did not see any kind of tag on it so I'm not sure um, this little thing right there I think was a salesman sample for like a ice chest freezer. I know the salesman samples of things can sell really well. Um, I'm not quite sure what that one sold for, um, but I do know like people are usually always interested in what they call salesman samples. It's just pretty much like miniature versions of things. I was also interested in this hanging salt uh, seller. I'm not sure what that went for but we did not win it <laughs> and here's me just again playing that was really fun that was a really fun one there was also a lot of those chimney flu uh covers again i feel like they, they have more <laughs> every single week um this estate for this auction i kid you not um there's probably like eight or so potentially more auctions just from this one person's estate um, they did have like a huge collection obviously of antiques but they were also antique dealers as well so just a ton of inventory um, not sure what that thing was either again if you do know chime in down below this was another really cool um, chest little box I don't know if it served any real purpose but I thought it was really cool. And then we have some older fault scraft pieces. I think some of them can sell well, not all of them. There, there's like a specific ones, I believe. I didn't really do a whole lot of research on those. Um, this whole case was a lot of Nazi memorabilia. That knife you see along the side, Eric's pointing at, sold for $1,000. And that chest plate right there in the middle, they call those gorgets. That sold for $24,000. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of people who collect um, that kind of historic memorabilia. Um, it's definitely not something that you can sell on eBay. So, you know, if people are buying it, they're going to, you know, have someone who is interested or their collectors themselves, basically. And I also like to flip through books. <laughs> That's another thing that I enjoy doing when I'm at the auction. So I think I'm heading back towards this table where Eric is at. Um, I was I thought this painting was so cute of this rabbit and bird. I loved it and that frame was gorgeous. And then there were these two mini oil lamps. And then there was a bunch of swords as well on this table. And Eric was joking around that he wanted to, to pick one up and start playing with them. Um, and then there was like a, a tin like bowling toy like I said, the tin toys tend to sell pretty well at the auction, and that even had like its bowling pins and everything, so that probably sold pretty decently as well. Over here, we have some really old hooked rugs. Um, these I was interested in. I was interested in all of them. Eric said they sold for about $120 a piece, uh, but they can sell well. Um, as far as like reselling goes. So if you ever come across any of those old hooked rugs, um, definitely consider picking them up because they can do really well. Um, this was a couple of old books. This first one Eric is looking through, I think it was from the 1920s. Um, when I looked that up, you can purchase it on eBay for, you know, I think less than $20. So it wasn't something I was super interested in, but I just love the illustrations. I thought it was so cute. I think out of all of the books on this table, the only one I had eric bid on was the one at the end it's called rosebuds i did see that that one was selling pretty decently but they're all really cute with really fun illustrations which is what i love and why i am taking the time to flip through them you can kind of see eric playing with a vanity set in the background and we will get to that i know when i was editing this video i was like everyone's probably like michelle why are you flipping through these books just show us this vanity set so yes it is a beautiful vanity set um, i didn't have any maker's marks on or anything like that so we weren't sure who made it but i was obviously definitely interested in it i do not think that it was bakelite i did test it and i just think it was like um you know like a 
was sell, like a plastic um, celluloid that did sell for $240 for that set. So obviously I didn't win it, but it was really unique, really interesting. I mean, all of the pieces were there and it was in um, you know, it's carrying case and everything just so unique and interesting and different. Um, I just, I fell in love with it, but I didn't win it. So yeah, like I said, I tested it, um, to see if it was Bakelite. If you don't know how, pretty much you just pick up a piece and like rub it between your fingers, uh, for a while until it starts to warm up and then smell it. And it'll have like this really weird chemically smell. It stinks. Um, but you'll know right away if it's Bakelite because it will have that like kind of scent to it. So when it warms up, it, it emits like a chemical type of odor. So yeah, just admiring that for a little bit. And then over on this table, there was a couple toys. We have a tin train set. I'm not sure. I think Eric was interested in that, but he didn't win it. And then there were some stuffed plushies along here on the side, as well as some dolls. And then a display, an old display. Um, that bulldog was really cool, just very unique. I was also interested in this cat. When you shook him, um, there was like a little maybe ball or something inside I could hear rolling around. Same with this teddy bear. He had like a bell or something inside of him that jingled when I picked him up. There was music playing very loud <laughs> today. So, well, this day I should say, um, so that's why I'm doing a voiceover. This is a really old dollhouse. Um, it's called a Bliss dollhouse. These also can sell very high, very well. Eric said that that one sold for around $400. Um, and yeah, I, I wanted to bid on that. I wanted to win it, but that's about probably what I would make off of it if I were reselling it. So, you know, there's no meat left on the bone after that aspect. <laughs> and then um, I was looking at those lamps. I thought those were really pretty on those green bases. Like, they look like they probably would glow. And this was an old um, Staffordshire, I believe it was, England uh, Greyhound statuette. Those can actually sell really well um, as well. I did have him bid on that, but he did not win it at, you know, a decent enough price that we were comfortable with to resell it. And then the rest of the table, I'm not quite sure if there was anything else that I had Eric bid on. Um, that was just a really nice bowl. <laughs> See, Eric Eric has to open up like the boxes and the chests and stuff too. So that one actually had a drawer in it. They're really nice though. Like, if you guys won that, what would you put in it? I want to know. Let me know down in the comments what you would store in, in a chest like that. Um, oh, and this is a really old gunned Easter bunny back there. I actually did win that. <laughs> that was something that I did win. I haven't listed it yet though, so I have to get to doing that. And that was, a, I loved that bowl. The look of that bowl was beautiful. It was marked Germany. It just had a really pretty design to it. And then over here, this is like the table that they start with at the beginning of the auction. So we got some old tins. This is a lot of like, you know, your really old antique, um, primitive style type of stuff there on that table. I don't think there was anything on that table I was super interested in. Um, I didn't know how to open that box, so I didn't even bother. <laughs> I didn't want to try and like go forcing it open or something because I didn't know how. Um, and then over here, that was a really nice clock as well, but nothing that I had Eric bid on. I like this rolling pin, but quite frankly, I don't really use rolling pins, so <laughs> didn't need that. And that was a pretty table. I think we're getting close to the end of everything. Oh, nope, we're not. Here is a big book of matchstick book covers. When I first saw this, I don't know why I was thinking they were like chewing gum wrappers or something like that, like old chewing gum wrappers. Uh, but they are matchbook covers. So this is someone's like huge collection. I mean, this book was filled. So if like you're a collector of matchbook covers, you probably would have been in absolute heaven with that book. And then there were some 
um, binders filled with really nice old postcards. This one had a, a not a lot of Halloween. There was mainly Thanksgiving, but there were a couple pages of Halloween and they were like really nice Halloween postcards. I'm not sure what they went for. I think I did have Eric bid on them, but um, did not win them. Oh dear, there goes my broom. I thought that one was so cute. And then I think that there were two more other binders filled with postcards. This one was more um, 4th of July and, you know, patriotic type of postcards. But again, like really nice ones. So, oh, and there was also Valentine's Day ones in there as well. So I'd say about half and half, Valentine's Day and um, 4th of July. So beautiful postcards in there. And then I think there was one more book. Yeah, this one here that had postcards in as well. And I'm not quite sure exactly what those ones were. They had more of like a floral type design to them. So I don't know if they were like birthday or like just, you know, thank you type of postcards. And over here, Eric is playing with a bell. This is actually a bell for a bicycle and it's really interesting it has a devil on it you'll see it a little bit closer here in a minute eric was interested in that just because it was really cool looking um i was looking at this little glass <laughs> cough drop uh, cabin well anyway this really cool devil bicycle bell went for over 150 dollars is what it sold for so needless to say we didn't get that uh, but that pretty much concludes this auction run through preview i hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the haul